Greetings viewers, this is the maiden of the Smeghead canard pusher. Matt Ogborn's calling it the Sir Newton, but uh, I can't call it the Sir Newton down at the field. I'd get laughed off, off the field by my flying buddies, so it's the Smeghead for me. Mainly because it kind of looked like a hammerhead. Uh, so Smeghead will do, because I'm a bit of a uh, Red Dwarf fan. <laughs> Made from 3mm corrugated plastic for the fuselage. Hot wire cut wing, it's uh, a metre and 60 wingspan, 170 millimetre cord, uh, 506 millimetres by uh, 150 millimetre cord for the canard. Canard is sort of a little bit up so that I can just use one elevator push rod, but uh, I'm ready to go. CG for these things is about halfway between the canard and the wing, I think. I have a 3003 s in there. Uh, the motor from the Zero HD Dart. It's a 22-16-1300 kV with a 8x6 prop, I think it is. Let's see what happens. You'll note you have to have the elevator reversed on these things. Ailerons are correct. We've got a little bit of headwind, which is very nice. Throttle active. Time to go. Zero amps. Five amps. Now, was that down thrust or Zero amps. might need the center of gravity back a little bit? Zero amps. Try that. Try again. Zero amps. Maybe we need some down. Zero amps minimum. Fifteen point four amps. That's off. Nine. I have Three slightly amps. turned up wind tips. It's going nice Five and point seven amps. smoothly. <laughs> uh, Four. I'm rolling. Amps. Having to hold a little bit of back elevator, Seven rolling to the amps. rolling to the left. Point nine amps. Maximum trim reached. Four point four amps. But when I get it trimmed out, it's going to be good. Four point nine amps. Now I hit the tree. Amps. So that was very interesting. It stood up to the crash really well. Just had to take the tail back a little bit there. Uh, but I didn't have a lot of elevator control when it's in the turn. And the CG needs to go back a fair way, I think. But anyway, we'll try again. Everything's still working. Very good. CG is back a bit. I won't go near that tree. That's better, that's going nose up now, so much better. In control. And it's a cruiser. 2.8 amps. 3S, that's cruising on hardly anything. 1.7 amps. 2 amps on 3S. That's cool. 6 now amps. I've got more elevator control. Full speed. Amps. Fast enough. Fifteen point nine amps. Slow roll. Seventeen point eight amps. Slow loop. Ooh yeah. Six point two amps. But it's really meant to be a stable cruise of which it is. Five point seven amps. And we'll glide it now. It's gliding. Zero amps. Gliding nicely. Zero point one amps. Uh, it'll be a good FPV cruiser. Stable cruiser. Doesn't have a lot of pitch control though. 
much more down than, than up. All right, I can adjust that with the angle on the uh, servo arm. Nice. Hours, 3.1 amps. I did not go over the road in case I run out of elevator. 2.7 amps. Cool. So it's going to be a very efficient amps. FPV cruiser. It weighs about 850 amps. grams. Power up and you can turn amps. through the corners better. Yeah, nice. 3.3 amps. 1.5 amps. Purring along. Lovely. 0.1 amps. Cool. Okay, camera on board, looking back. It doesn't like being nose heavy. Nice. See you back a little bit. Fifteen point three volts, eight hundred thirteen milliamp hours, two point five amps. Thirty-five is nice and smoothly just cruising around, but in the turns, it struggles to get your nose up. Fine if you do shallow turns, which is probably the best thing to do. So I think the CG is best a little bit behind the halfway mark, more towards the, the rear. Don't know exactly how much yet. I'll do more testing a bit later on. It's getting a bit late and dark at the moment, but look at those lovely sun rays up there. Sweet. So interesting. It behaves a little bit differently to normal. All right, well, I can improve that, I think. Good fun trying anyway. Thanks for watching.